I'm Brian Titus with VanWall Equipment. Today I'm going to show you how to properly set up your 2630 display for harvest. We'll jump right into the cab and we'll start with setting up uh, or bringing in our setup file. You need to do that by clicking menu, GreenStar GS3, GreenStar GS3 in the top right corner and click memory. From here, you will click on your setup file that you sent from the operation center. Click on it, select your profile, and apply setup. Click yes. At this point, it'll bring in the files that it needs to document correctly. Data transfer is complete, you will click accept. From here, you will click on resources and make sure you have the correct client, farm, and field. If a warning pops up, go ahead and click accept. The other thing you want to make sure is your task is set to harvest and also your crop season is in the correct year. From here you're going to go click on equipment on the right hand side of the screen. Make sure your machine type is set to combine. If you do not see combine on the screen you will want to make sure you go back to your setup file and make sure you have the correct machine type loaded into your setup file. Make sure your machine model is set to the correct model and also you have the correct name. From here you want to click change offsets and you want to verify that the correct offsets are loaded into the display. If you have offsets that have been pre-populated you'll want to make sure you manually check those with a tape measure to verify that they are correct for your documentation. Once that is done, click accept. You'll also want to verify that your connection type is set to front rigid three point. From here, you'll click on the header button at the top of the page. And we'll want to select our implement type. We have flexible drapery in our corn head. I'm going to select corn head. We also need to have an implement model and an implement name. You're gonna to wanna to click change offsets to verify or change the offsets in order to have the correct dimensions for documentation. At the bottom of the page, you will go through and change the widths if you see that they are incorrect. You will see track spacing based off of your implement width and the implement width. In this case, you are going to see that this is grayed out. This will come from the command center in your given machine. Once that is complete, click accept. From here, you're going to click on document on the right side of the screen. And we're going to change harvest settings. If you have variety locator checked, you will notice that crop type you cannot change. You will have to uncheck variety locator. We want to select our corn for crop type and verify that we have the correct variety selected or a variety selected. If you have a setup file from the operation center that has variety locator included, you can select variety locator. You will notice variety locator file is okay for this field. This will allow for the machine to change varieties based off of where the varieties were planted in the spring. You can also check variety change audible tone. This will allow for the display to alert you when you move to a different variety. For advanced documentation, you can select your residue management if you so choose. Once that is done, we will select accept and we'll move to the mapping icon letter A. 
At the bottom of the screen, we will select map settings. We will want to change our foreground from coverage only to yield wet. You will also want to make sure you have a check mark in guidance lines and grid and select accept. From here, this will allow us to have a yield wet or a legend for a yield map. If you do not see the yield legend on the left hand side of the screen, you will need to click the two squares button at the bottom of your screen to toggle from coverage and overlap to yield. In order to change your yield legend, we'll select it and we will put our top, um, our high end and our low end in. What we choose here will not uh, determine the colors for your yield map when you bring it into your mapping software. I will select 230 on the top and a low of 170. Now you can change this for your given field and you can change it multiple times throughout the growing season. Next, we will select our home pages for our display. You'll notice we have one home, home, page, home page selected. In order to select home pages, we need to go to menu, layout manager, and select each page on the screen. On page one, I will leave it alone since this is how I want it set. The top of your page will select page two. And on the right hand side of your screen, you will select one of the layouts that you so choose. I will select soft key letter F for this layout. We'll select the map. We'll set and select green star. And I will scroll to the correct map that I would like. In this case, I'm going to choose page number seven by selecting it. And then also on the right hand side of the screen, we want to change this to green star and I want to see field totals. We've got one of 22 pages. I'm going to go this way and find the correct field totals. Once you find the correct one, select it and that will set up page number two. We will select page number three. Page number three, I would like a different layout, letter G. On the top of the screen, I want to select field totals. We'll select green star and we'll scroll through until we find field totals. Once you find field totals, we'll click on the screen and accept it. On the bottom, I would like to see a variety change button. In resources and documentation, I will select that. And on the right hand side of the screen, I would like a map. We'll select green star. And select our guidance and map page. Click on it. This will allow us to have three home pages as well as we're including them in our home pages. Click accept. We've now got three home pages in the lower right corner of our screen and we can toggle between them by clicking the home button. This is how you would properly set up your 2630 display. If you have any questions or would like additional support, please reach out to our Van Wall integrated solutions support line. And thanks for watching.